Hello everybody, sorry it has been a long time since I have posted a video, and if you didn't know, July the 31st was my birthday. Yay, yeah, I probably should have posted a happy birthday to me video on that day, but I forgot. But anyway guys, today I'm actually going to start a brand new series, and just guess what it is. It is... The spun. Wait, 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 hold on, wait, wait, wait. I, I really need to see. Oh, wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. The SpongeBob SquarePants episode reviews, episode one. So, yeah, today, guys, we are actually going to be reviewing SpongeBob episodes, okay? So, yeah, because I need something to do, and I just want to review some SpongeBob episodes. Starting with. Plankton. Now, this episode is pretty cool. So I'll um, always put plot, the plot, the fun facts, and the highlight of the episode. So first, the plot of the episode: Plankton uses mind control to obtain the Krabby Patty secret formula. And the fun fact: this is the first episode Plankton has ever appeared in. I mean, isn't that obvious? I mean, the front title is clearly called Plankton. And uh, the highlight of the episode is Plankton's record player. Here, I'll, I'll, sh I'll tell you. So it all started with Spongebob was making Krabby Patties until he saw a moving Krabby Patty that was going everywhere in the kitchen. The Krabby Patty was about to escape until Mr. Krabs stepped on. Then it was revealed that it was Plankton who was stealing and taking the Krabby Patty. Then pl today was Plankton's birthday and Plankton got him a golden spatula. But he needs to get... Can, but he was trying to convince Spongebob to give him the Krabby Patty secret formula. But that fails. So Plankton decides to use mind control on him and then plays his record player. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. He plays his record player as soon as he came up with the idea of mind controlling Spongebob. Then when he comes close to Spongebob's ear is about to go inside control and he plays his record player again. So then when he completely crawls in there, he puts this thing on the brain. It doesn't really mind control Spongebob. I mean, it does control his body, but it doesn't really make him, you know, change his personality. But he controls his body. And uh, then he literally crashes through Squidward's house and gives Squidward a very evil laugh. Yeah, Spongebob actually does that because Miss because Plankton's about to use full mind control on him. But then we... But then they steal the Krabby Pay secret formula, and they are about to draw a Krabby Pay, and they are about to drop it in the Chum Bucket ingredient maker thingy. Like, if you drop it in there, it'll show the ingredients, so the plankton will finally figure out. But then Spongebob the trick him, he was seeing how delicious the Krabby Pay was. So he stopped by controlling Spongebob and decided to eat the Krabby Pay, but then it accidentally fell in there, and then... What's funny is that the computer literally says plankton, one percent seaweed and one percent and fifty per fifty one percent evil, and then he appears on the screen introducing him, and then when SpongeBob goes home with the cray pay, plankton's like, but it's my birthday, <laughs> and then pretty much the episode ends. So, yeah. But I do actually like it. It is actually a, pr a pretty cool episode. So guys, let's see what is next. Um, here we go. Tia to treat them. The plot is SpongeBob meets Sandy Chat. I mean Chat. I mean Cheeks. And the fun fact of this episode is that this is the first episode that Sandy Cheek Cheeks appears in. And the highlight of the episode, Patrick's pinky tip. Yeah, you'll get to to what I'm talking about. So it all starts out when Spongebob's just wondering, and then she sees a squirrel, who is, also, of course, Sandy Cheeks, wrestling and attacking a giant clam. When she gets swollen, Spongebob tries to help, but fails, and then Sandy helps Spongebob, and then they meet each other, cause they, and then they say hi to each other, and Sandy invites Spongebob over to her tea house. Yeah, they, I think they literally killed the giant clam. Anyway, so Spongebob tells Patrick, his best friend, that um he needs to go view, that he needs to go to the tea to have tea at Sandy's. Patrick tells gives helps SpongeBob by giving by telling him the pinky tip. Yes, where he always holds up his pinky. 
So SpongeBob decided to go, and then when SpongeBob gets inside the tree, he realizes that it has no air. So SpongeBob can't breathe. So so Sandy, well, it no, I, I I'm serious. It takes about like I don't know 40 minutes for Sandy to realize there's something wrong with SpongeBob. But anyway, SpongeBob tries to escape but can't, and then Patrick's outside the window telling him to hold the pinky. But Patrick gets mad at SpongeBob's not doing what he is. So Patrick comes in from there, and now Patrick can't breathe. They both try to escape, and Sandy finally know, realizes and knows that they can't breathe. So she gives them air helmets that gives them to be able to breathe. And also fills them with chocolate syrup so they can drink, or tea, whatever. But it's pretty cool, and I actually do like the episode's plot. It's pretty fun, cool, and amazing. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed this episode of SpongeBob SquarePants Reviews Episode 1. And I will see all of you later.